Welcome to Power Query video number 11. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great question for Power Query. Here's a data set, and we need to transform it. Now, we want to use Power Query because when we use Power Query, it follows us along and writes the code and remembers it. Then when the data changes, we simply refresh and instantly the transformation happens. Now here's this weird data set. We have a count number, but there are one, two, three transactions all in a single record. Really, this data set should be orientated like this. And if we were doing this by hand, I'd cut and put that down at the bottom and then copy the IDs or the account numbers, cut, put at the bottom, and copy these. And Now, in essence, we're going to kind of do what we just did manually, but up in Power Query. I'm going to Control Z, Z, Z. The first time, we will only import these, meaning we'll highlight these and remove. The second time we import the table, we want these. So we'll delete these two. And finally, the third time, we only want the last three columns and the ID or account number. So we'll delete all of those. All right, so I'm going to click in a single cell. Now, we want to convert this to an Excel table, Control T and Enter. We want this to be dynamic. So when we add data later, the Power Query import will incorporate the new data. Now I want to name this table Design and then Properties or Alt-JTA. And I'm going to call this Account Table. Enter. Now let's import it. Now we talked about the last couple videos, the difference between keyboards in 2010 and 13. I'm using 13. So when we go to From Table, it's going to be Y7, right? So I'm clicking here Alt-Y1, Y7. As we mentioned in last video, Y8 is what you have to use in 2010. Why they have different keyboards, I do not know. All right, so these last three columns, I'm going to click on Device 2, hold Shift, click on the last one, right click, Remove Columns. Now we want to name these upon import. We're going to call it Just Port, Just TN, and just device. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to name this set one enter. Now we can close and load two, only a connection, and load. There's our set one. We come back over here, Alt Y1, Y7. I'm going to call this set two. Now here we want the second set. So I'm going to click on device two. Hold Shift, click Port. Now, before I click on Account, I'm holding the Control key. Then right click, Remove Other Columns. And then we have to rename it. Get rid of the twos. And now let's close and load two. This will be set two, only a connection load. Finally, we'll do it one last time, Alt Y1, Y7. All right, now we want the last three, so I'm going to click on Device 1, and then hold Shift, click on Port 2, right click, Remove Columns. We can get rid of these threes, renaming the field names or headers. All right, now I'm going to come over here. We call it Set 3, Close and Load 2. Only a connection and load. Now we have our three tables. Now we can use the append feature. So Power Query, append. Let's select Set 1, then Set 2. Click OK. This will open the editor. I'm going to come over here and name this All Data. And now this append button, we can just click it as many times as we want. We have two already, so I'm going to click append and get the third one. Set 3 OK. Now we'll go up to Account, click the drop down, and we're going to sort Ascending. That'll bring all the account numbers together. Now we can close and load 2. We're going to try and put it in a table on this existing sheet. Click the Collapse button. I'm going to scroll over and try N12. Click OK. Click Load. And there it's chugging along. No way. 
there is our return transform data set. Now let's go up and add a new record. I'm going to click in cell A8. Now we've added our record below, so it immediately is incorporated in this table. That is a dynamic feature. Now when we come over to our query, right click, refresh. You've got to be kidding me. Look at that. It's chugging away. Boom. All the way transformed, including our sorted first column. Man, Power Query is amazing. Hey, and I'd be curious. You know, I did the approach where we got table one, and then we went and created a second question to the same table, and got table two, and then table three and appended. Now, that's pretty straightforward conceptually, but maybe there's a way you could bring it in and do it all in one step instead of importing the table three times. If you know another way to do this, post in the comments. Oh, man, Power Query is so amazing. We'll see you next trick.